Hello everyone, welcome to BW Girls. I am Tanya and guess what the very important notification is out. What is that? NSP 2023. So complete information I will share with all of you. Those who are aspiring that okay, I want to attempt NSP. Certainly all the clarity I will share, all the information I will share. As I know, all of you, career plays a very, very vital role in our lives. Yes, attempting the Olympiads, Olympiads, moreover, let's say, NSP in a way, there are other Olympiads also, how they are relevant for us, how they are going to help us in our career growth. Yes, that also I, will, I would like to have a word upon. So, everyone, yes, opportunities are created. Certainly, we are here to actually talk about one such a big opportunity for all all of you. So now, before going ahead, first of all, those who are new, those who are not aware that what exactly this NSP is, certainly in 2023, who is eligible, what exactly it is, every information I will share with all of you. So let's start with the basics, everyone. Talking about NSP. So what it is, first of all, the full form is National Standard Examination in Physics. This exam, yes, it is held, certainly when we say it is being held, right, without any fail since year 1987, this exam has been conducted for all the students. What is the eligibility? Everything I will talk about. Okay, now who is the body and certainly who are organizing it? Let's have a word on that. This examination is conducted by IAPT, certainly. Indian Association of Physics Teachers. Okay, so we are talking about physics, right? Certainly playing a very, very vital role. Yes, those who are actually thinking of going into research. Moreover, those who are preparing for JE Advanced means, yes, this exam is very, very important for you. Okay, half of the syllabus, let me say, the whole syllabus is same only, right? That is why if you are preparing for JE, if your actual motive is to crack JE, certainly you should attempt and you should give, yes, NSCP. Okay, so yes, National Standard Examination in Physics. This exam is held for listing students for the have a look over here international olympiad of science all of you lot and lot of kids have this query ma'am yes i am giving imo okay so certainly ma'am nso yeah all these exams are giving that is conducted by sof yeah so how this is different Everyone, of course, I will take up one another video for that and I will talk about the merits and demerits. But yes, this is the standard body recognized by all the standard body. Yeah, so NSCP is recognized and it is very, very valid, authenticate. More of I'm not talking about the authenticity of them also. Yeah, but yes, if you have cleared this exam, moreover, if you have attempted it as well, yes, it will boost your confidence. Moreover, it is going to help you out in your future purposes as well. Okay, so talking about NSCP, yes, certainly it is giving the students for, you know, um, admissible for them, right, or certainly listing out to them for the opportunity of International Olympiad of Science. Okay, now I believe you got a bit of clarity, right? Now, if I talk about the subjects over here, certainly of physics, chemistry and maths, this matters a lot. Yeah, so yes, you tend to study all of it. Certainly, it is talking about the physics portion over here. Now, let me give you a bit of steps, right? Okay, and before that, exam detail is very, very important. So, let's talk about exam detail. There is a whole overview, a brief overview I'm talking about, about your exam detail. Okay, so exam conducted by, you all know, IAPT, Indian Association of Physics Teachers, right? Certainly, eligibility. Now, students up to and including class 12. So, everyone, yeah, certainly, lot and lot of kids, they ask that, ma'am, I'm in class 11th, I'm in class 10th. Of course, the most, you know, kids, they will be in this bracket, 9th to 12th. I'll talk about eligibility also, 
right? That if you are a dropout or moreover, you know, you have cleared your 12th or probably you are in 11th. See, kids, if you are in 11th, right? Of course, you will have this thing that, okay, ma'am, I'm in 11th, certainly. Should I give this exam or not? My advice will be first have a look over here. Yeah, have a look on the dates as well and then decide. Okay, because I know right now you are there in the middle of your whole year. Of course, you are preparing for your exams as well. Certainly, maths play a very, very vital role. So, if you are going to put your focus over here, of course, you tend to have a bit of discrepancy. Certainly, wait for that one. Okay, now have a look. Frequencies, annual. Yeah, mode of exam, of course, offline. Exam difficulty level, intermediate. Now, yes, there will be some portion, difficult portion and easy portions also. But you should be clear if you are preparing for JE engineering, basically. Yes, this is your exam. Okay, certainly if I talk about application fees 200, of course, this might vary. Okay, this might vary a bit 100 and 150, 200, right? This might vary a bit. But exam duration will be 2 hour. And medium is English. Moreover, see Bengali, Hindi and some other regional languages as well. Okay, so this is the basic information everyone. This is like the basic information that okay, what is happening? Yeah, very, very valid and important exam. Um, I'm, think, I'm saying this thing again and again. Yeah, J, J, right? If your goal is engineering, believe me, if you have cracked this exam or if you are preparing for this exam, believe me in class 11th and 12th, you need not worry about your physics at all. Yeah, most of the syllabus pretty much here only. Okay, moving ahead. Now, stages everyone. Let's talk about the stages. First stage will be NSEP. Right. How many kids? Believe me, 35,000 to 60,000 kids. Yes, they give this exam. Right. Of course, B9, 10th, 11th, 12th, they are, they are there. They will be attempting. They will be giving the exam. Okay. So, believe me, that's a number. Yeah. Now, then I and PHO certainly over here. Let me give you the whole scenario. This is nothing but Indian National Physics Olympiad. After giving this exam, the second stage, this is the second stage. That is nothing but Indian National Physics Olympiad. Okay. So, from here, how many kids you actually think that, okay, they are going to select? Of course, they are going to select a bunch full of number. That would be approximately 300 to 350. That's it. See the number. Yeah, then you have your orientation. Of course, orientation comes selection. The whole process takes place. Yeah, then they are going to select. That's the third one. Then you are going. Yeah, you certainly go ahead and your pre-departure certain whole scenario will take place over there. Okay, they are going to train you basically. Okay, so over in the four stage, they are going to train you. And in the last stage, of course, that is International Philanthropic Olympiad. Only one kid is going to represent. And yes, uh, from the past lot, lot of years, of course, you are winning and they are getting the gold medals there. Okay, so yes, these are the whole stages. Okay, that's nothing but the training stage. So, of course, from here, six probably and then three and then, of course, probably three or two and then only one. Okay, am I clear, everyone? So, these are the stages. Yeah, now, let's talk about the whole thing of the first stage because we are going to focus on the first stage and then the things are going to be more clear for you okay so the first stage everyone have a look national standard exam of physics the tentative date of this year is november 19 be very clear all of you okay duration of the exam is two hour now all of you the pattern is a change earlier the questions were certain you know 70 yeah, now the questions are decreased to 60. Okay, marks earlier was 240. Now it is 216. So, pattern has been varied. Okay, number of questions, have a look. Single choice question, each question, each question, each question will be of 3 mark. Okay, so how many questions over here? 48. Right, now... 12 multiple choice question, of course, 12 are there. Each question will be off over here. 6 mark. Okay. The whole calculation 2016. Yeah, this is the basic criteria that has been varied all of you. Okay, so pattern change is there. Yeah, 
talking about yes the major portion of course the major portion of your syllabus of class 11th and 12th they are going to cover that thing up they are going to ask that thing up if you are preparing for JE mains and advanced right of course you will have the certain idea that okay if you are preparing for it a level can be a slightly a bit less but yeah of that level okay so yes you will be trained of course you are preparing for it but yes you should know the whole scenario as well Okay, moving ahead, got the first stage right, the first stage pretty much clear, great. Now, let's have a look on the eligibility because I know a lot and lot of you, you will be thinking that I am eligible or not, I am getting this information. So, how this information is helpful for me? So, everyone, first of all, the learner must first and foremost be an Indian citizen, that is the first and foremost criteria you need to follow. Okay, second thing, the NACP test is designed for students in grades 9 to 10, have a look. Yeah, but yes, they are designed in such a manner, okay, 11th class students you can give, yeah, of course, 12th class students, now as I was telling you that, okay, 11th class students, you are thinking that, ma'am, can I give the exam, November, right, kids, you are preparing for certain scenario, your exams would be nearby and you don't have that much time left, like, okay, probably like two months, okay, so my advice will be, you can start your preparation, but yes, give the next year exam when you are there in 12th. Okay, so my advice is that of course you want, you can certainly attempt, right? But there is one scenario. So have a look on the eligibility and then take your decision. Okay, students who have passed the 12th grade examination, they are ineligible. So I'm so sorry, those who have passed the 12th grade exams, you are not eligible for it. Okay, next one. Students must be between the ages of 15 and 20. All of you, 15 and 20. Yeah. The students will be dropped from the program if he or she is deemed to be ineligible for the exam. So, all of you, please have a look. The student must pay a one-time cost of 150 during the NACP uh, registration procedure. The student must not have finished 12th grade prior to November 30th. Okay, everyone, see. Okay, any applicant who has previously represented India in the International Physics Olympiad or the Asian Physics Olympiad is ineligible. So, if you have represented India over there, of course, you are not eligible now. Okay. Now, the student must not have applied to or be preparing to apply to any university in the year after the Olympiad. So, these are your eligibility criteria. You need to follow everyone. Okay, moving ahead, right. Now, qualification, what will happen and how you are going to qualify? Of course, preparation matters, right? But there are certain rules also. So, let's have a look on that. See, first thing is there are two types of score, the highest and the lowest. Perfect, you will get scores regional wise. Okay, cutoff would be there. Yeah, have a look, cutoff would be region wise. Yeah. Now, Talking about the merit index, what is this merit index everyone? So, there will be some kids, those who are actually going to top the exam and they are going to score maximum. Yeah, so they are going to take the 10 maximum kids students marks and they are going to find the average of it. And 80% of that average score will be the merit index. Okay, if you are getting that merit index, if you are scoring above that, great, qualified. But if you are getting that much also, qualified. Okay, so what top 10 students, their top 10 marks taking, taking 80% of the average of it and merit index. Okay, now minimum admissible score, minimum valid score. So, all of you, what they are going to do is they are going to take top 10 kids, okay, 50% of their average score. Now, even if, even if everyone, they will have a seat, right? Even if they are, you know, having a proper space, yeah? And you are not scoring, you are just, you know, five marks, four marks below, they're not going to consider you. Okay, so yes, minimum admissible score, yeah? They're going to leave it as it is because we are talking about the, you know, certain geniuses and those who are actually able to crack the exam and they are putting in so much effort as well. Okay, so yeah. So, minimum admissible score is nothing but top 10 kids, 50% marks of their top 10 kids, taking out the average of the um, average of the top 10 kids and then 50% of it. Okay, that would be minimum mark you have to score. Okay, now of course number of students certainly have a look, yeah, 300 is going out to be and cut off region wise, region wise cut off. Okay, now 
all of you steps for registration this is the most important one let's have a look on to it so the national standard examination in physics registration process consists of two steps what are the two steps registration and enrollment okay students can complete iocup that is indian olympiad qualifier in physics registration form by the following okay so don't get confused see have a look go to the official website it is mentioned right select the registration option from the drop down in the menu fill in the essential information correct information everyone yeah on the student registration page and click create otp after completing the registration process log in with your credentials and fill in all the relevant information am i clear everyone first is the basic one then of course your actual information will go yeah now send in your documents document is, is very very important yeah so you should be handy with it then and other information at this point you must submit the registration form now six step procedure very easy procedure you can go ahead okay this is nothing but the complete information video everyone i want you all to be aware as much as you can any doubt any query regarding any of it of course you can pin it up there you no know, in your comment section and i will take out one more video of this whole concept with all the important topics with the rest of the things as well this is nothing but the general one that i want you all to be aware of okay now right details so i'm sharing the details as well the what are the details that you need to fill up on so student must correctly complete the iocup form with the following information name of the candidate class gender father's name or mother name okay date of birth yeah then uh, subject name and location of the school students mailing address these are the proper details you need to fill okay so everyone i know you guys are preparing so yes let's prepare all together and moreover you know give these exams attend these exams and explore new options so of course we over here we want to help you out as much as we can certainly any doubt any query regarding any of it rest of course you can share it out with me and yes all of you i will have one more video those who are getting confusion ma'am ma i am giving ns so right then how this nscp is important for me ma'am i am giving some more exams right so how this is very very important we are going to have a look on to it and yes advantages disadvantages of course all the merits and demerits we are going to discuss but yes all of you go ahead explore till here as i am telling you syllabus would be same if you are attempting of course you need not worry about physics at all you will be confident enough you can give more time to maths and chemistry yes everyone thank you so much take care and certainly i will be seeing you soon bye all of you